Namaste, welcome to Arthaniti, where we discuss money and money matters to help you in your investing decisions. While building a portfolio, it is always suggested that you invest in large cap stocks for stability, mid cap stocks for balance between growth and stability and small cap stocks potentially to deliver high growth returns. Today, we are going to talk about a mid cap stock which has delivered good quarter three results and the future outlook for this company looks positive. I'm talking about KPIT Technologies and in this video, we will be analyzing this stock today. KPIT is headquartered in Pune. Now it operates in the IT services sector and has a market capitalization of nearly 37,500 crores as of February 2025. It specializes in providing software solutions to automotive and mobility sector, uh, focusing on areas such as artificial intelligence, digital solutions and embedded software. KPIT specializes in creating advanced software for cars and other vehicles. Their main focus is on developing software to create smart vehicles that can connect to the internet, drive themselves and use artificial intelligence. Now this specialization sets them apart and can be termed as a USP, unique selling proposition for the company for, uh, in comparison to other IT services company who offer more generic services. Some major KPIT customers include BMW, Renault, Honda, Toyota, Cummins, Denso, Hitachi to name a few. The company has a global presence with offices in countries like US, Germany, Japan, China. We will begin by analyzing the company on its fundamental factors. Let us look at its latest financial performance. Now the quarter three results are out and the results have been very good. For quarter three FY25 results show a 20.4% year on year growth in net profit reaching 187 uh, crore rupees. Revenue growth of 17.4% in constant currency terms has also been recorded. Now, uh, the total contract value of new engagements in the sense new orders that they have received are worth $236 million for the third quarter of financial year 2025. They have a good market position as the company focuses on the top 25 OEMs in the automotive industry where OEM is original equipment manufacturer. Now this gives them a strong position in the market. A major plus point is the company has filed 58 patents and has won several awards for innovation. Coming to the management of the company, Kishore Patil and Ravi Pandit, both chartered accountants, set up the company in Pune in 1990. Now, Kishore Patil serves as the CEO and managing director and he has been instrumental in shaping KPIT's rapid growth and leadership. Sachin Tikekar is president and joint managing director, bringing extensive experience to the leadership team. The company has made some strategic acquisitions, uh, including Somit Solutions in the UK. Now, Somit specializes in after-sales operations of high-tech luxury and new age OEMs through cloud-based vehicle diagnostic platform. Uh, it has also partnered, uh, formed Corex, a subsidiary with German-based ZF Group. Now, this company uh, enables middleware for mobility ecosystem in transformation towards SDV, software-defined vehicles. What is the industry outlook? Well, the automotive software and electronics market is projected to grow significantly to reach nearly $462 billion by 2030 at a CAGR of 7% from 2020 to 2030. Some key, key trends uh, that drive growth in this sector are increasing adoption of EVs, development of autonomous driving technologies, growing demand for connected car features and shift towards SDV, software defined vehicles. Now these trends align with KPIT's core competencies, positioning the company for a favorable future growth. 
how has the budget impacted this sector well there were no specific mentions of budget expectations for kpit technologies but the overall focus on infra development digital transformation support of manufacturing sector boost in consumer spending uh, will that indirectly also affect in a positive way the automotive sector uh, giving good growth prospects for companies like kpit let us go through the financial numbers now i have already told you that revenue grew by 17.4% year on year basis profitability by 20.4% for the same period order book stood at 236 million for quarter 3 of financial year 25 return on equity 31.2% debt to equity ratio 0.15 which shows low leverage which is a positive price to earnings ratio 49.84 on a higher side let us compare uh, kpit with its peers now uh, the some of the main peers in the mid cap it services sector for kpit uh, are tata alexi which has a market capitalization of 38452 crores pe for the company stands at 48.87 emphasis market capitalization of 57050 crore rupees pe stands at 79.41 scient limited has a market capitalization of 15100 crores pe 29.51 zensar technologies has a market capitalization of 19300 crores and pe stands at 29.41 L&T Tech market capitalization of fifty six thousand five hundred crore rupees. These were some of the peers uh, for comparison of KPIT. Let us look at the technical factors for the company. Now, uh, the fifty day EMA uh, for the company stands at fourteen thousand sixteen rupees, and uh, the current uh, price indicates a bearish trend in the long uh, in the short term. uh the 200 day sma stands at 1571 rupees uh which is also above the current price suggesting a bearish trend in the long term the technical factor uh other technical factors like rsi is at 32.91 indicating a down trend uh support and resistance level the key support levels are uh, 1234 1210 and 1171 the resistance levels are 1298 1337 and 1361 now out of the 17 analysts covering kpit 12 have given a buy rating 3 have given a hold rating while 2 say sell global brokerages like uh, bernstein maintain an outperform rating for the company with a target of 1580 implying a 15% upside from its recent closing levels the average target price by analysts is at 1773 which is a good 27% upside from its current trading levels some uh, additional considerations while we are analyzing this stock well kpit is eyeing global expansions and exploring new relationships with passenger car and truck makers in china and europe outside germany company is also diversifying and developing new sub verticals in trucks and off highway vehicles when it comes to uh, talent retention the company has a good record it reports an all time low attrition uh, level uh, which is crucial in the competitive it service industry uh, com- it has continued uh, focus on innovation with investments in ai and automotive specific technologies to maintain its competitive edge and uh, kpit aims to derive 85% of its revenues from existing clients indicating strong relationships but also potential concentration risk in conclusion kpit presents a strong fundamental case with its specialized focus on growing automotive software market robust financial performance and strategic investments in future technologies however investors should not ignore its high valuation multiples potential risks associated with industry specific concentration as always it is necessary that we do our own research 
we approach a financial expert or an advisor to help us align our financial decisions with our financial goals. If you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such informative content. Until next time, stay safe. Goodbye.